Hey everyone. So, uh, this is part uh, two of three on the uh, PlayStation 3 uh, CECH uh, A01 uh, scrapping. Uh, the first part was mostly on the motherboard and that was the longest, uh, most complex part. Now I'm gonna do the Blu-ray drive. Uh, there's some scrap value in here uh, with some gold. This one here has plenty of water damage and is completely scrap. Nothing, nothing is sellable or usable. Uh, maybe the ribbons, but I wouldn't even bother. Uh, I've already taken off the little screws here. There's one, two, three, four, five. Uh, this here is just a piece of st steel, nothing too special. Uh, the same thing goes for the top part here. A little scrap steel pile. So here we have this little spindle, the magnet in here. Not sure if uh, you guys could do anything with magnets, but uh, there's a magnet in here. And there's this top part here, there's five little screws. I'm going to take out. There's uh, not, not much volume to this piece at least. There's a little bit of uh, steel but nothing to write home about. So most of this, like you can see, is plastic. There's little steel here, steel screws, mostly plastic. The most interesting piece is uh, this little sensor here, which is again nothing special. There's a little bit of gold I think on this little guy here, but uh, other than that there's not much else. So uh, what we have here, we also have some ribbons, let's take the ribbons out. These have gold on them, gold little tips, cut them, what not. Like I said, this is all scrap, not very useful. There is this little motor over here. This little guy here, bring it up closer. So we have this little sensor here, this little motor here, sensor has a little bit of gold over there and that's pretty much it for that. Then we have the laser, someone had already removed the little screw over here, so all you have to do is pop that out. Uh, this laser this is the most interesting part of the uh, Blu-ray Blu drive. We have this here is magnetic again, so you have little magnets of what's somewhat here. And you have little little itty bitty pieces of copper there. But we have quite a bit of gold. All of this here is gold. There's a connector there. Uh, where is it? There's a few other ones here. Should be some gold in here. Maybe we'll probably some gold in there. Uh, this is aluminum. Uh, but there's two diodes on this guy. I already took one apart just to show you guys. This is actually from another laser, but they're all pretty similar. There's this little guy here, this little diode. There you go, so there's a little bit of gold over there. There's a second one, which is pretty much the same thing. Got a little gold over here. And like you can see, there's a little, some boards whatnot. Not too, too much. 
And then we got this little spindle here, which is not much. A little motor, I guess. I'm sure there's some copper in here. Uh, there's gold in this little connector here. That's pretty much here. We have another little motor here. Your basic steel. This is stainless little bars here, stainless steel. You got your screws, which are probably also uh, stainless uh, steel because everything in here is rusted except for the screws and the bars. Well, so it's pretty good. And uh, there's another little ribbon here with uh, some gold tips again. There you go. And we have another piece of steel and uh, that's pretty much it for the Blu-ray drive. So the next video I'm going to do is going to be on uh, the PlayStation power supply, specifically again for the uh, CECH A01. So this is what, at least the one model of the power supply that goes into that PlayStation or that model PlayStation. There's another version which very similar and uh, covering this one over here is probably going to cover the other one too. So uh, until I see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.